working here at Wallen, my educational philosophy is about trying to get students to feel comfortable at school again. A lot of our students come with negative perceptions or negative experiences in prior placements. And I just want them to know that school is something positive to be looked forward to and taken advantage of and not a punishment. So my educational philosophy um, is centered around the kids and what they need. Um, I'm really dedicated to making sure that the kids always have um, the most access to education as possible, um, getting the things that they need, whether it be here, whether it be the things um, after school or at home, um, making sure that they're set and they're prepared to go out and make a difference in the world. I believe that the classroom community consists of everyone, not just students and teachers, but also admin, parents, the community. I think that a classroom is a safe place for a child to take risks, to make mistakes, and to learn and grow, not just academically, but socially and emotionally also. Students should have the freedom to explore and be curious and have fun while, while learning. Um, you know, my philosophy just comes from what I believe education should be. You know, I think it needs to be authentic, first of all, from the teacher. You know, I like to sprinkle in a little sugar and spice of myself into my lessons to kind of encourage the kids to do the same thing when they're getting involved. You know, to take risks, to bring in their own culture and their own communities into their lessons. So it's, you know, relevant to them, but then also, you know, something that is easily accessible to them. Because I think we have so many kids, you know, every year I've had kids from places in the world that I know nothing about. You know, so I think working in Colonial has, has been great for me to get an opportunity to learn more about, you know, where the kids come from and the things that they bring to the table, both positives and then, you know, barriers to education. The educational philosophy is that every student can learn. Um, sometimes it takes a lot of dedication on the part of the educator and a lot of time and effort, parent communication. But if we all work as a team, we can definitely help our students find success, even if that success is one step, one day at a time. All kids have an opportunity to experience the same uh, experiences, no matter what their ability is. So what I do in the PE setting is I take what is going on in a general physical education class and sports and skills, and I modify and apply them to what our students' abilities are. I strive to provide an academic atmosphere where each child is challenged to achieve its highest emotional, moral, and intellectual development. Um, I'm more about not just math, but the whole child. And I believe that in the right setting, all children can learn and with high expectations and the right curriculum and the right situation and structure that all children can learn. My philosophy really revolves around the idea of I can't really teach content until I've made a connection. From day one, you need to build a connection with the kid. It could be around their favorite movie. It could be around the fact that you play a similar sport. Um, just being an ear for them to kind of vent to. Um, really developing that relationship first. And then from there, then I can definitely teach phonics and math and all of the necessary content areas. Um, but until you make that connection, kids don't really learn from people they don't like. Um, so you really just have to make that connection whenever you can. I believe in, I follow responsive classroom techniques and I really believe in developing a relationship with my children that starts before anything else happens, making sure that they know I care about them. Um, that's what really cultivates a great relationship in them being able to learn. I truly believe as educators, we need to teach the whole student. So that starts here at Southern, we teach with Leader and Me in a responsive classroom and I think that's really important to build the students' characters and build empathy and have them be goal-driven. I think that's a really big part of our job as teachers, is that we need to create relationships with each student. They need to want to be here. We need to learn about them. We need to know how to motivate them. We need to learn how to best educate them. And they're each individual, so we need to create relationships. We need to know our students inside and out. I think um, first teaching was a change of career for me. So um, when I had the opportunity to go back to be a teacher, it was really important to me I had a, a young son at the time and I thought I really want to be involved in what's going on with his school and with his education so I thought everybody learns a little differently, everybody has different abilities, not disabilities, so that was one of my main reasons and philosophies for teaching. My educational philosophy is to first build relationships and then move into 
um, instruction. I understand that when I come in, not every single kid is going to leave here with a great working knowledge of math. What I want to do is I want to create better citizens through education, um, building that rapport, building relationships, um, and then helping them out academically, but if there's other areas that I can also help them out, help them out with, whether it's math or whether it's outside in the real world. I, I look at education as the opportunity to build relationships, to keep them on going throughout life. Every child is uh, entitled to and deserves an outstanding uh, music education. Uh, and regardless of their age level or grade level, they can all uh, create uh, rewarding music that makes everyone involved feel proud of. I, I know there's sort of like a stigma against fourth and fifth grade or elementary school band in general and kind of fighting against that, that, that fourth and fifth elementary band should be squeaks and Mary Had a Little Lamb and, and uh, concerts that, that parents got to kind of sit there and put, put their um, hands over their head. But I, I believe that, that the elementary school band, the kids can create wonderful music that they feel proud of and that everyone get, gets enjoyment out from teaching, listening to it, and performing. I definitely think I have two philosophies of education that tie together now. One is you have to have relationships with students and you have to foster good relationships between students for them to feel comfortable and be able to learn and express themselves. And then I've been really interested lately in an extreme individualization of the curriculum because everybody approaches it a different way and students all take something different away from it. And we have to meet them exactly where they're at. And so I've been thinking a lot about how to individualize it even more. I truly believe that all children are born with an innate drive and an extraordinary ability to learn. I think that every child is unique and special and they all come having their own creative abilities, their own strengths, their own ideas, um, their own abilities and needs. And I think that, you know, at our job as educators, it's to teach in a in a way that's going to meet every child's needs. We need to see the abilities um, in all our students. So that requires a collaborative approach. And I think um, the power of We Model, the district we work for, really emphasizes that education does not happen with one person. It takes a whole team working together. It takes teachers, it takes staff, it takes families, it takes the community to all come together to best program for our children. And I do believe that's what gives the high quality education that we have here in Colonial.